Hey, welcome to Authorpreneur TV, real talk about what it takes to be an author in the digital age. I'm Jennifer Blanchard. I'm an author and a story development coach. And I wanted to talk today about, so there's a few things actually. So the first is that um, when you ask people their opinion, they're going to give it to you. And the second is that when you're an online author, there's a lot of different things you're going to contend with that you probably don't think about on a regular basis or things that you probably haven't even thought of. Um, but what ends up happening is the more you get yourself out there, the more you start to, you know, be visible and have people following you on your email list and all that stuff. Well, you end up getting some stuff you maybe don't want to have, you know, like people who want to share their opinion about things that you may not agree with or um, that want to try to tell you how it should be. Um, so today it was a great example for me. I actually came up with this idea the other day for something that I wanted to create. And, you know, I'm an author. I have a bunch of online, you know, digital products as well as I've got my books. They're available on Kindle. And, you know, I truly believe that authors, especially in the digital age, cannot just sell books. They have to have additional things that they sell or additional products or services that they offer because that's what makes you an authorpreneur versus just an author. An authorpreneur is somebody who looks to how can I make money from sharing my gifts, from, you know, doing what I love and putting value out into the world, that's what an authorpreneur needs to be thinking about. So it's not just about, you know, what books do you create, but what else can you do to help somebody or to, you know, be of value, be of service to the world. And so um, I like to create different digital products and I like to do things that my audience really needs. And so I've got this idea for something I wanted to create that's basically a starter kit for brand new authors or authors who've been writing and maybe they're getting ready to publish or they're in the process of it and now they realize that they need to have a website, they need to have an email list and you know all that stuff. And so they, you know, get to a point where they're like, how do I do all this stuff? And so I wanted to make this like all in one kit that you could use to just create your website, get your email list set up and get yourself out there. Kind of like I said, a starter kit for, you know, authors who are online. And so I actually sent this out to my list as a, you know, just an idea. And I let people know this is something I was thinking about creating. I would love your feedback to know if this is something you'd be interested in. And of course, like I said, if you ask people for their opinion, they're going to give it to you. And so um, I had a lot of people who actually said they were super pumped. There was like 50 something people that answered the survey and um, 40 plus of them said that they needed this product. And so it's definitely something I'm going to be creating. Um, but the funny thing was I had this other section where you could write in additional comments or, you know, ideas and things like that. And I've had a couple of people who um, made some comments that actually made me laugh, but then made me realize that this is something I need to talk about because this is something that you're going to deal with too as an author, you know, when you're online and as you grow more and start getting yourself out there. So first of all, there's the doubters or the people who doubt themselves. And so they doubt you because of that. And so, you know, they, there was a comment that says something like, you know, oh, you need to be more established before you start helping people with marketing or you need to start, start being, be more established before you help people with their website. And it makes me laugh because, you know, I've been online since 2008, so I don't know what, what you would need more established than that to help people with their website, but um, that just, it made me laugh. And that kind of stuff is going to happen. It doesn't matter how good you are, what you do. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing something. You're always going to get questions from people who just in general doubt things. And that's just part of being an online, you know, authorpreneur and a business owner in general. So um, that was just, it was an interesting comment. And then another one that came in was somebody who actually um, almost like reprimanded me to trying to tell me that uh, I spread myself too thin and I have too much going on and I need to stop taking on so much because I'm going to not be successful at it. I'm going to fail. And, you know, you can't have write all these, you can't write 10 books a year and, you know, uh, create digital products and coach people. And, and it, when I was reading the comment, it was like a big paragraph of this. And it literally made me laugh because I kept thinking, those are your limitations, not mine, you know, like, and it's funny because there might've been a time when I saw something like that and I would have actually, you know, maybe stepped back a little and thought maybe are they right? You know, but this time around, I just laughed because those are their limitations and not mine. So they're basically saying that they can't write 10 books in a year and they can't do that and story coach and, you know, create digital products. And that's them. That's not me. And I know myself. I know the capacity that I work at. I know the capacity that I like to work at. And I know that I'm a, you know, creating content, creating machine and that I've always been that way. And so I know that that's just who I am. And so 
I like to take on a lot. I like to have lots of projects going on. And anytime I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Or if I don't, I have, um, you know, not just a reason, but I've got something else that I've replaced it with because there was something else that was better or something more fitting in alignment with, you know, what I'm doing. And then the other thing is, I just believe in the stuff I do and I don't, would never put something out there if I didn't believe in it, if I didn't feel 100% that it would help you get something, you know, whatever result you're trying to get, whatever the item is. So if it's, a, you know, like, let's say a story kit where I'm helping you plan your story, you know, I would never put something out there if I didn't believe in it. And I would hope that, you know, as an entrepreneur, you would feel the same way. You would want to put out books and digital products that you care about, that you believe in, and that you know will help people and that, you know, they can be successful using it because, or, you know, what, even if it's just a book. So if you just want to write books, that's cool. You don't have to do anything other than books. Um, it's not, it's not always the best way to diversify and having multiple, you know, ways to make income is always good for being an entrepreneur, but you don't have to, you could just write books and your experience could just be, you know, people reading your books and getting this great journey, this great experience that they get to go on with this character. And that can be what you bring to it. And that's awesome. Totally needed. And people want to be entertained. So that's definitely a valuable um, service and a valuable gift to bring to the world. So, you know, it's cool, but you can do whatever you want. So if you want to do more than that, if you want to have multiple projects or whatever you're doing, that's great. Just make sure that when you do them, you actually, you know, put your full heart into it, that everything you put out there, you believe in a hundred percent. And, and that's how I feel about my stuff. I would never put something out there that I didn't believe in. And so, um, you know, it was just funny because I am going to create this new starter kit and, uh, it's just great because I'm excited about it. And I know that when I do things with excitement and passion, they become more successful. And so um, this person that commented, they definitely need to start looking at some of the limitations that they may have for their own lives because, um, you know, I'm not going to let their limitations limit me. I believe in, you know, just whatever I want to do. I know that I can be successful with it because I'm going to put my 100% effort into it and I'm going to bring it to life. So so yeah, I mean, and again, this is just kind of more of a jumbled um, video this time because I just had a few different things that were kind of going through my head, but I feel like all of it kind of comes down to just what it's really about being an online author. And and something else that this was a, a third comment that actually um, that I saw and the person was basically saying, you know, it's great that you're doing all this stuff, but I don't want to keep, not that they didn't want to keep hearing about it, but almost like they don't want you to sell to them. It's like, I'm glad you're doing all this stuff, but I don't want you to tell me about it all the time. Or I don't want you to, you know, um, let me know that it's available or that I can buy it. They didn't want me to sell to them, basically. And, you know, this is something that I've had issue with because I'm, you know, first of all, I'm a writer. And so as a writer, you don't think selling is like the thing you have to get good at. But the thing is, when you have books available, when you have stuff out there that people can purchase, you have to know how to sell and you have to be good at um, being able to tell people about what you're offering and offer them the chance to buy it if they want to. And so I take that comment um, as it's almost like, again, it's, it's about people's limitations. So they wouldn't want to be selling stuff all the time. So they don't like me doing it. It's always a reflection, you know, so that's kind of how I look at things. But the bigger thing is think about it with, and I think this just comes from the fact that, you know, you're a single person, an entrepreneur brand, and it's really just you. And so people don't take it as seriously as they would, you know, a bigger brand. So it's like if Apple, you know, sells their phones to you all the time, you're not going to say to them, Apple, I'd really wish that you stop selling your phones to me. Or you wouldn't say, Apple, I really think you need to stop spreading yourself so thin because you're not going to be successful. And, you know, and the whole thing is that Th that's just somebody's opinion, obviously, but you would never think that or say that about a big brand like that. And so that's one thing that I've had to work on as I've grown my business, as I've grown as an entrepreneur, is realizing that I have to treat what I do as seriously and as, you know, um, just big as I would if I owned Apple or I would if I owned, you know, another big company that's out there because it is a real company. You as an author brand are a company. You are a business and you have, you know, products, whether that's your books, whether that's, you know, um, if you do trainings or if you create other digital products, whatever it is you're doing, that's all part of your brand and it's all part of what you sell as, you know, your products and your business. And you have to treat it exactly like you would if you owned a business. That's the idea of being an entrepreneur. That's really the biggest difference between, you know, being an author and being an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is somebody with an entrepreneurial mindset. They're thinking about how can I take what I'm good at, what I know how to do, you know, the services, the skill sets, how do I take that, package it in a way that's valuable for somebody else and that I can make money from. Because that's what it's about. I mean, if you don't want to sell your books, if you don't want to make money as an author, that's fine. 
but then you're not an author. You're just a writer who, you know, publishes stuff for free, which again is totally fine. But you're here watching this video because you want to make money from your books. You want to make money from, you know, whatever it is you want to create, whatever creative projects you want to put out there, you want to make money from it. And that's totally fine. Don't ever let anybody make you think that it's not okay to make money from your creative stuff and that it's not okay to ask for a sale or for asking for someone to, you know, check something out or, you know, here's my website, check out my books. Don't ever be afraid to do that because how else are people going to know what's available or know that you can help them or know that your story exists if you don't tell them about it, right? So that's what it's about. It's about getting your stuff out there and it's about knowing that no matter what happens, you're always going to have people who come out of the woodwork to try to poke holes in it and tell you that you're wrong and tell you that you need to stop doing certain things or not like what you're doing. That's always going to happen because that's just a part of being an online business owner. That's a part of anything in life in general. There's always going to be people who come out of the woodwork to you know, say things that are negative. And that's just because those people have nothing else to do. So they have to poke holes and po you know, point at you because you're out there doing something. And so just keep that in mind. And you know, when you're doing your author brand stuff, just remember that. So I hope this was helpful. It was kind of a little bit of uh, talking about different things, but I hope that it just lets you see this is the kind of stuff that you will have to you know, deal with at some point when you get yourself out there more, start selling your books, but it's okay. Just know that it's coming, that it's all part of it. And really, I like to see it as when this kind of stuff happens, when people start coming out of the woodwork to tell you things that you're doing that are wrong or, you know, that try to, you know, basically make you change how you're doing things because they don't like it. That to me says I'm doing something right and that I need to keep going. Because if I wasn't, no one would be emailing me. No one would be saying these kinds of comments. You know, they wouldn't care. And so that's how you know I'm doing something right and I'm being successful. So no matter what you do, just get out there and do your thing and create all the stuff you want to create no matter what it is. Just do a really good job at it and just believe in yourself and believe in the products and services that you create because that's what it's all about. And you know, you're going to have a really amazing entrepreneur business and a very successful future. So I will catch you next time.